Welcome back to Rachel Be The Healthy We. Today we're going to continue our summer nail art series with press on nails. So let's go ahead and get started. So press on nails can be a pretty big subject and there's lots of fun stuff to learn about them. So to keep this quick, let's keep it to the basics. Today we're going to talk about different ways you can adhere them and how long they'll last with each adhesion. And then we'll talk about some different things you need to pay attention to when you're choosing which press-ons to go ahead and either purchase and or make. So let's get started. So here you can see we'll start with how you want to purchase them or make them. So my preference is custom and the reason why is you want to make sure that just like nails that your press-ons fit all the way around your cuticle so that they look as real as possible. As you can see here this is one I already adhered and it looks just like a regular nail that's been done like acrylic or gel. So sometimes that can be difficult when you are purchasing a pair from the store. Sometimes the sizes aren't quite right and depending upon how the design is you can't always change those nails the way you want. When you custom make them you can not only select your size ahead of time but then you can also customize the length and any kind of any other thing you need to make them fit perfectly and then put the design on which makes them look really attractive. So as you can see here, these are some distant, different custom press-ons that I've made for myself. So the other thing is, sky's the limit with any kind of design you want. And because you don't have to worry about your non-dominant hand because you're working on stands, you really can do quite a bit when you make your own press-ons. So definitely something I rec recommend looking into. However, if you want to purchase them, make sure when you look at them that the length is correct because the length is something really difficult to change. If I were to take this nail and I wanted it shorter, I would start digging into the design by shortening that nail. And a lot of pre-made press-ons are printed, so they may chip and the design may not look quite right if you go ahead and try to change that. So again, custom would be my preference, but if you purchase them, my other tip is if you purchase a pair and you have the equipment to go ahead and put um, gel on these, I would go ahead and gel top coat it and then nuke it before you even put them on. And that's because those designs are printed on and therefore they come off fairly easily with wear and tear. So you can have a set that looks really pretty and within a couple of days starts looking a little sad because the design's starting to chip off. So if you buy a pre-made set, just make sure to go ahead and seal them up before you put them on for wearing. So those are my couple of my tips as far as choosing, making sure you're getting an appropriate length. Um, the other thing is when you custom design, it's actually quite inexpensive because you can buy a hundred count of nails, you know, full coverage nails for like eight bucks and that's like 50 sets. And if you have some of the artwork anyways, it can be a really inexpensive way to have some really pretty nails. And depending upon how you adhere them, they can last two to three weeks and still look like a set that you had done at a salon. So let's go ahead and move on to the different ways that you can adhere them. So the way that I adhered this particular nail, just to go ahead and show you guys real quick, was with the sticky tabs. Now sticky tabs don't require any kind of skill other than you literally go ahead and size this up, place it on the nail. Let's see, like that would be about the size for this nail. So here, you would then place it on the nail and then you would place the nail on top of the sticky tab. Now these are the only type of adhesion where you can reuse your press-ons and the other thing here though is that this is only for a day or two application. It is not going to last very long if you're just using these. That is okay if you're maybe just going to a party or you only want to wear them over the weekend. This is a good option. I don't recommend long-term usage because one, they don't hold up and two, this does allow communication of liquids underneath the nail between your nail bed and the faux nail. So that's that one. Next is something else that doesn't require anything special and that's just nail glue. Good old plain nail glue. Now any of these applications are going to last the longest if the nail is prepped properly. That typically means a clean nail bed that has been lightly scuffed up and is prepped and ready for adhesion. So brush on nail glue would be the next one and this one if done with a really good glue and a good prep work can last upwards of two weeks. 
Now another one that does not require anything special is going to be acrylic. So you're going to go ahead and use your acrylic with monomer and take a small bead and you can go ahead and use it to adhere the nail to your natural nail. Now just about all of these except for the sticky tabs will require you to trim, file, and then use acetone to remove, um, which is fine, not going to hurt anything. And this is again another two to three weeks until you're ready to pull them off. These bad boys aren't going to come off if you do it with the acrylic. Now, if you have a nail like the one I'm wearing where you can see that there's communication of light through there, or like this nail where you can see there's communication of light through there, that means that you can use a product to adhere it that needs light to cure. So that puts us in the realm of a builder gel in a bottle or a soft gel, a regular pot gel or a hard gel, or even a poly gel. Now, if your nail is opaque enough or translucent, I should say, and not opaque, you can use a nail like this to use any three of those products. And then you're gonna go ahead and do it just like you would in a prey style and use UV light to cure it. Now that means they're going to last two to three weeks or until you decide to pull them off. However, with a light that an, or a nail that cannot have light penetrate it because it is solid in color, you can either use the sticky tabs, the glue, or your acrylic. Those are your three options. So there's six options total. Three if you have a transparent nail, and then you have three if you have a opaque nail. So hope that helps, and you guys use one of these ways to go ahead and put on some press-ons, which are super fun to work with at home. Now, let me just point out that something that I like to do, and that's up to you, I like to go ahead and put a thin layer of gel on my nails to protect my natural nail. Then I will go ahead and proceed as normal, which would be to go ahead and come in and lightly scuff the nail for adhesion. And obviously before I put a little bit of gel on my nail, I go ahead and I make sure I've prepped my cuticles and so on so they're nice and pushed back and all that good stuff. So I'm going to lightly abrade my surface, nothing too harsh. And then I'm going to use a 70% alcohol and I'm just going to lightly clean that off. And really all that's for is to make sure you remove any dust or, or anything else that's going to stop that nail from adhering in between. So once that's removed and that's ready, you're going to take your press on and your glue. This is a uh, brush on glue, which I kind of prefer because it's just so much easier than the ones that you just squirt out. I don't feel like you have as much control. I like to put a little bit on my the nail and then a little bit on my fingernail as well. So I went ahead and tipped it and then I'm going to put it down and then I'm going to give a nice pressure. Of course, we're going to check it and make sure it's straight and then give nice pressure for about mm, eight to 10 seconds. And then we're going to let go. And there we go. We've got a nice adhesion there. Like so this I did with a sticky tab. But as you can see, I like doing the quick gel on my nail just to make sure my nail is protected so that when I need to acetone remove this later, I'm not going to damage my natural nail underneath. But with that, I'm also going to get probably a good two weeks of wear. And like I said, a little bit of your glue on your nail and a little bit of glue on the press on that you're ready to adhere hold it down and you're good. And you're going to want to make sure that when you do it, you're going to tilt yours at a 45 degree. Let me see. So 45 degree angle to put it into the cuticle and then you're going to lay it down 
kind of like you do with the appray style because you're working out any air bubbles and then hold it with light pressure. So that's going to be exactly how you're going to adhere those. Hope this helps and you give some custom press-ons a try as sky's the limit with some amazing different decals. You can do some really fun things this summer and then you can change them out at will every couple of days, every couple of weeks, whatever happens to work for you. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more stuff coming at you this summer. Thank you. Bye-bye.